Hello, welcome back. Happy Sunday to you. Uh, if you've watched my previous video, thank you. Got four subscribers. No, so what, thanks for tuning in, watching. This has been a lot of fun already. I'm not only playing with the camera and obviously capturing some fun events that I do with vehicles, but um, video editing. That's changed a lot in the past handful of years since I've been separated, so I'm having fun learning and dabbling it. Uh, if you watched my previous video, got the muffler delete on the Challenger, be sure to check that video out. Tons of fun, made a great, great new friend uh, with an amazing shop and one heck of a skill set uh, and a personality to boot. But this one's all about furthering uh, the protection. I also have the video coming up about the rock guards. Stay tuned for that one. I apparently lost the footage, but I can reshoot. That's easy enough. Uh, but I also want to share some great ways of protecting that beautiful paint uh, that you see on that 2020 scat pack. Let's go ahead and dive in. I want to show you what we picked up from Lux Auto Concepts. Uh, so make sure comment down below if you have other things that you do to your car, whether it's a Challenger or not. I'm curious because love is in the details and Lux hit a home run with this one. So let's go. So as mentioned, this is the Lux Auto Concepts. Check them out, they make tons of different vinyls and, and PPF, that, uh, that protection film. The uh, one product I have used from them which worked out really well were the side markers, you know, tinting those out, making them nice and dark, getting rid of the amber and the yellow. So I know this is gonna be a success. And on top of that, they go the extra mile by not just giving you that PPF, the main product that you're buying, um, but they also offer a microfiber cloth. They have also some, some solutions and uh, different solvents to make sure, yes, this is an application fluid, uh, more than likely just a very light soap so you can get some uh, that wet application. There's also a prep, more than likely that's gonna be like a rubbing alcohol, I assume. Uh, so you do want to make sure that you remove any type of wax or, or get as much of that uh, grime uh, and, and protection off of the film or off the paint, excuse me. That way you get a nice firm seal and uh, application on that PPF. So without really haste, let's go ahead and roll right into it. All right, so the first step before we even install that film is we need to make sure we've cleaned that surface appropriately. Just grab some basic isopropyl alcohol and we'll use the included microfiber towel that comes in the kit. But also inside this kit, go ahead and use my knife here, is not just that microfiber towel, but it's also going to be a, a couple of uh, little accessories that'll help you out. So as mentioned before, of course you get that prep spray. So that prep spray is that final uh, solution you'll use before you apply it. It's not necessarily according to the manual, the, uh, the, the cleaning product that you'll use. They want you to use your favorite cleaning product I think isopropyl alcohol lightly applied is probably the best route to take. It comes with a sticker. Probably won't use it. Thank you anyway. It also comes with a, uh, a squeegee so you can help apply. Now this is handy. I'll keep this for a future project. You know, you never want to toss this stuff out if it's not applicable to like that project. But this is nice to have for the future. Of course, here is that microfiber towel. Go ahead, grab our alcohol. Start cleaning it up. Now while I'm doing this, some other stuff to talk about is it's not just the Challenger, right? If you're tuning in for the first time and uh, randomly stumbled upon this, because this is fresh, this is a brand new channel. Uh, it's also gonna be Jeep related stuff. I've got a couple of projects coming up for it. Um, and also as well as the Challenger, of course. I'm also a lawn care guy. I mean, the title, A Full Garage, is I'm also an addict to a degree of Lego, huge adult fan of Lego. So have a Instagram uh, account really dedicated to it as well as doing a podcast. But I know I wanted to start shooting this kind of footage. So I got that well, I can actually feel uh, it's nice and clean. I actually took off that, that wax and probably some of that ceramic coat, but that's a-okay with me. Now we'll actually take this prep spray, shake everything that's a solution, spray it on, grab that microfiber, wipe away. You want to do this quickly, right? As far as, you know, once you wet this down and, and clean it up, you know, you don't want to sit overnight and wait. Just get that only dust settle and whatnot. But you definitely don't want to get trapped underneath that, uh, that film. So next up is go ahead and open this and start applying some solution and give us some, uh, some lubrication while we apply that film. So at least change camera angle, get you a better shot of it, and we'll go ahead and dive in. 
mind getting lots and lots in there. Be liberal at it. I gave it to you for that reason. Um, and then we'll go ahead and peel this off. You know, we don't stretch it either. Stuff can stretch in a bad way. It's good because it's adaptable, but you can easily ruin it. So be a little bit careful. And we'll start tucking it in. Now, my goal is I want to put this in and line up those edges, those ridges right there. Didn't quite get it on that pass, but. film is nice stuff. That's why you pay, you know, 15, 20 bucks for it. For a small piece of plastic there. I gotcha. Ah, see, I missed it there, so I will use that little scoogie. towards the bottom. Nice, let's go. Start working it out. Because yeah, it does stretch, and as you start getting that water out, you'll notice it just starts adhering itself, so that works out really well. Now, I'm also going to take a, a blow dryer here in a minute. I've got a heat gun. I don't know if I'd use a heat gun, right? It's actually necessary. I just got a blow dryer that I've been using for years for RC car bodies. It's covered in paint, but it's great for this use. Uh, we'll go ahead and speed it out a little bit more, let it dry. And uh, dude, you can't even see that. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but that's, it, it's invisible. It's fantastic. So if you have, you know, wear rings and stuff like that, this stuff can, the paint can scratch under here very easily. Uh, so it's worthy to give it a little bit of protection. I'll come back and I'll just kind of ceramic, lay a nice little layer of ceramic around that. I'll even put it on top of the PPF, good. Give the PPF its own protection. Great. That's fantastic. Alright, so now it's time for the uh, passenger side. And I did the driver's side, actually applied it very well. Uh, just had a microphone issue, actually failed to uh, put on my microphone. I don't even know if this audio is going to work, so I'm still trying to figure all of the entire setup. But, driver's side looks good, now it's time for the passenger side. So just like we did before, we want to make sure that if this is the first one you match up and, and, and sure you use the right one. But I do want to go ahead and use that prep spray, so I'll go ahead and check that up. I've already done the isopropyl alcohol, and honestly this is probably nothing more than isopropyl alcohol. As a matter of fact, let's read it. Yep, it's isopropyl alcohol in distilled water. So I'm probably overdoing it, but you can't really overdo it. Just lightly rub, get that nice and clean. Perhaps one more. But yeah, as I do this, you know, if you guys see something in the garage just in passing and you're curious about it, let me know. I'm all about talking about anything that's in this garage. I'm all about suggestions, recommendations, heck, feedback as well. Uh, so let it be known. So done the prep spray, yep, I can definitely smell the alcohol coming off of it after uh, 
after doing that, we'll go ahead and liberally apply our application lubricant. Gently pull off that sticker or vinyl protection film. Whatever you want to call it. And we'll just get that. Now you learn from doing this. So the first time, you know, pretty much matched up the top and it worked. Put a little bit of finagling, you saw it. You will see it. But here, I'm really lining it up with the bottom now because I've noticed where that film kind of comes into play. Perfect. Perfect. Always makes fun noises too. But no, this is gonna be good stuff. This will definitely be a nice addition. Just that extra level of protection so you don't have to worry about fingernails. Wife's wedding ring. That's the one I worry about. It's not like the big diamonds, just the diamonds of diamond. It's gonna scratch the crap out of this car, so we're gonna try to prevent that. Yeah, we have fun in our house. Yeah, if you, <laughs> you may hear dogs in the background. You could have potentially have kids come out. The future with these videos is going to be exciting and interesting because my kids definitely will be a part. I want them to be a part. Uh, but if your parents out there know it takes five times longer to get anything done solo than it did before you became a parent. Now, so that's looking good. And you, can, you can't even see it. I don't know if you guys can tell on cam. Maybe you can see the line, but I'm okay with that. A small little line, but you really have to look for it. Now I got some good light around me, so it's kind of obvious to my eye. We'll go ahead and get that squeegee slash what I'm going to be using as a panel removal tool for unique purposes. I've got some panel removal tools, but it'll be a nice one. You know, let this dry. It's a little bit cold outside, but if you get in the sunlight, it'll dry a little bit faster, a little bit better from my experience. But this should be pretty fantastic. So on the next video, we got these. What are these? What are those? These are the front door pockets, new cup holders. For, sorry about that. For the Jeep. So make sure you tune in. We're going to go ahead and install these in here in just a moment. But to make this video short and to hopefully have you coming back, we'll make sure this is the next video up on the reel. So make sure you subscribe, comment, hit that bell. Make sure you're notified when new videos come out and share this. Help this grow the channel. Am I trying to make a million bucks? No. But I have a lot of people hitting me up about this stuff. So I figured I'd go ahead and be a little bit more proactive, make these videos have a good time, learn some new skills, and uh, help a couple people out. So thanks again if you're still tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Peace.